Hey everybody, welcome to this commentary. Uh, Pika Nunu and Woofim, Woofilump here, uh, playing Nunu once again. Uh, this time it's not on stream, so I'll try to explain some more about like what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, this is on my challenger account, so <clears throat> more of a high elo game. Um, they have a Twisted Fate with Glacial. Uh, I have an Olaf. I think Olaf Nunu isn't paired well, honestly. What the? Where did this guy come from? What? You start W anyways, so it's fine. Whatever I did. Um. So yeah. Nunu pairs super well with champions that are very good at ganking because um the playstyle is okay. The playstyle is super simple. You just push. And you roam, but also when uh, you're in scenarios where the enemy wants to try to fight you, that's moments where you need your jungler to come, and it's very easy to uh, snowball the enemy, knock them up, and then snare them with your uh, E, and then you're in a really good situation where uh, you can gank them very easily with your jungler if they have crowd control. In our case, we have a, a, a uh, Olaf, so he's not very good at ganking, so that kind of sucks for us, though. So... Yeah. So what I do is I push level one and then he's trying to freeze it. We'll just shove it out real fast. We see where Jarvan is right now. He's on blue buff. And uh, you just can still clear these creeps. It's completely fine to do. You will take a tower shot. That's fine. Just eat a creep. I take sometimes uh, Q second if I need to heal because it heals for a lot. So you don't, you don't have to be too worried about taking damage. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to eat this creep as well. And then boom, we're back to full HP. We shoved him under tower, and we're good to go. We got down vision control, so we know Jarvan is topside somewhere. So I'm going to look for another shove here, and then maybe we can go topside. This guy might try to card me here. I'm not sure. Okay, no, he's not. So I'm just going to go for the wave instead. So that is shoved in. I'm going to start heading towards the top side of the map. Maybe I can come up here. Oh, the fuck. That was kind of a weird situation to be in. Okay, well, let's try to shove in this mid wave. I'm kind of afraid of Jarvan now because he showed. That's kind of weird. So just clear that up, eat that minion. Our jungler is topside here, but they're gonna get a kill, so that's fine. I don't need to like do anything special. Obviously, you can see that I'm low mana, so this is a struggle if you're spamming your abilities. Do I play Nunu perfectly? Probably not. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to copy the guy who does play it well, and then just find success from that. I use my E a lot to uh, last hit creeps, by the way. It is actually pretty effective at it, so we'll eat this creep. These creeps are kind of set up a little bit. This creep isn't, but the other creep is, maybe. So hopefully I can shove this in here. Oof. Didn't one-shot it, unfortunately. But I think I can still shove it pretty quickly here, because I'll just eat the uh, cannon, and then it deals a lot of damage, so... Nice. This guy, whoa. Wait, we might be able to kill this guy, actually. Nice, nice. And then these guys got afraid because I started rotating over, so. So I'm just going to collect those creeps right there just because my wave is already going to slow push back towards me because I got a really good push in and he wasn't able to do anything about it. A uh, really big mistake by TF there. Uh, what I've noticed is that he always goes revolver if you can and he goes amped home. So do not go Kindle gem first. That's what this guy does. He always goes for revolver first for that extra damage, I guess, for being able to all in because when I'm six, the only thing you need to worry about when playing Nunu is getting CC'd so your ulti can't be used. So I'm going to ping that this guy's going topside here. So I 
I was gonna poke him a little bit. I can eat up creeps. He also missed those cards, or I guess I kind of dodged it. So I can just eat these. Boom. You see, like, I'm, like, full HP again. It's absolutely crazy. So whenever he uses a card, that's a moment where at least I can pressure a little bit harder. So he used his card here, so I'm just gonna step up, and then I will then ulti here, ignite, and then hold his die. So the reason why I did that is, remember, you have to think about the person's crowd control. That's it. That's all you have to think about. Oh, can he CC me when I'm ulting? No? Well, my ulti deals 800 damage, I guess, is around that number. Uh, if I'm looking at it, unfortunately I don't have enough mana to shove this out very easily. But now he uses flash, which makes my laning phase even easier. So now he has no flash for the next ulti. And my ulti is actually on a pretty low cooldown. It actually comes up pretty quick, so... We're going to be able to get that back pretty quickly. The build path is always the same every single game. If you can buy Darkseal, buy it. Uh, he buys it like every single game. Literally. He gets Darkseal. So that's if you snowball. N like, no pun intended. If, you, if you're able to snowball and get some Darkseal stacks, then uh, building Medjai's is actually super valuable because it gives you extra movement speed. And movement speed is honestly one of the biggest factors when playing Nunu. Um, this is how you can roam around even more often. So we'll eat that one, auto attack that one. There's a bot lane fight. It looks like it's already lost. I don't know if this guy can get out. It looks like he can. So we'll just kill this guy. Remember he has no flash from earlier and we're all here to clump together because uh, like the, the uh, Jarvan was like behind us, but he's super far away. So I'm just doing that because we had numbers advantage, basically. And then TF is like really overextending. So we'll just try to snowball this once again. There's some special ways of getting a, a big snowball while you're inside of your lane, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to start heading topside here because once again, roaming. And a lot of people think I'm going to reset now because I'm pretty oom, um, but actually I'm not going to reset. I'm actually going to head top lane here. So... Where is he? So we'll just eat him, and we're good to go. Nice. I have to wait on my W there, that's why I'm waiting in the back, because you need to use it far away to be able to one-shot creeps, so... And now we got the Dark Seal. We're start starting to build our Proto Belt. Um, as soon as we get the Proto Belt, the Proto Belt has two things. Firstly, it lets you clear quickly. Secondly, it gives you a little bit of CDR and burst damage, which is always valuable with a champion that doesn't really have that much burst to one-shot someone. But if they're a little bit low, you can easily kill them. So this just gives you that little bit of extra boost to be able to one-shot people. Remember, he has no flash because the timer is around my cooldown. Um, and if you have Proto Belt, if you E someone, you can Proto Belt into them to get the snare off. Because you need to keep them within your snare to be able to one-shot them. Um, I did not mean to... Uh, that was kind of weird. Sometimes my W goes backwards, like if you have it like on the minion, or like down here. Like if it's on my champion pro profile or whatever down here, like for some reason it m makes it go backwards. I don't, don't really know why, um, but it does. So... We'll just last hit these. This is how you use the E to prep creeps here. So you just can use it. If it hits all of them, then you can just kill them like that. Otherwise, um, you can use three for each each creep there. Uh, I'm going to go up here. And... Okay, so he's backing up too far, but that's fine. Because then he's giving me fr uh, a push. So getting push is completely fine with me. Um, I'm level 9 and he's level 7. So we're super far ahead right now. And this Jarvan is over here. So we can just run up over here. It's fine. We can just be around our jungler. Playing around the jungler is always valuable. Okay, so this guy is playing pretty far up here. So I think we can catch him with my snowball. Snowball lasts a super long time, so it's extremely hard to get away from. So, uh, yeah. So, like, we used it just to get behind him. We're not using it to, like, actually kill him. We use the snowball for, like, getting the distance. That's the whole entire point of the snowball. You try to use it to get behind people or use it to hit them if they're running in a straight line. But in this case, it's better to go behind them because we know that he has no way to get uh, out if uh, we do that. So then we'll just head back mid here. 
uh, they should be super careful bot lane because because I went top lane, that means TF was able to get first push mid. So this is his window for him to roam because I just roamed. So I wasn't able to shove mid. So now he's going to roam somewhere possibly and try to do something bot. Um, now that we see Jarvan's top, I'm going to start rotating top here. If he autos Jarvan, he's dead. Yeah, because uh, the tower would start shooting him. So he's just dead, but that's okay. Jarvan is super low here. I'm not sure if there's a ward somewhere, but if there isn't, then this guy might actually face check me here. No, he's not going to face check me. No, it's not going to work. He will get plating. So that's not too bad. He's still got the plating. The bad news is that my bot lane is probably going to not be able to 2v3 this. It is an Aphilios though, so we'll find out. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna try like doing a special fight or anything. This guy is Flash, by the way, but I should be able to loop on him here because he's coming through the lane like this way, so... That didn't work. Oh, that was bad as well. It's fine. I can kill this guy if he stays. For sure. That was a bad ulti by me, but if he stays, I should be able to go on him. So I'll just start channeling it now because the new wave is in, so he's probably going to try to do something versus it, and then we can just go for him here. Nice, so now we got his flash. So now, next time I do that, it'll be much harder for him to escape. Fine with me. Top lane tower is still okay. We can take Ocean Dragon here because we saw Jarvan was topside trying to help out kill that uh, RGP, so... Oh, I should have went bot here. Okay, so I'm going to shove in this wave for my team. Should be able to. Just so it crashes, so they uh, miss some creeps. And I have hella money, so I, I really want to buy. So I'm going to go buy. I'm just gonna ignite this guy just for the extra damage. I don't know if, how easy it is to kill him, so. I guess they just completely forgot. I, I don't know what they were doing. Like, I guess they just never thought I would, would stay or something. Not really sure. Like, they, because they clearly don't know that I'm sitting inside the bush, but I don't know why they didn't know. Um, so we're gonna buy our Magi's here, Boots, and then you go Sork Boots. Why does he go Sork Boots? I don't know. I'm just copying somebody else, and I'm just telling you the playstyle he does and the, how it works. So we're already super fed, and this is from just knowing how to abuse my lane, which is just... What the? This guy has no flash. I guess we can't do anything about that? My god. Stop! <laughs> 
<laughs> He's gonna queue it still. Oh, I don't he messed up again! Oh my god, I don't know what to say anymore. Oh my god! <laughs> He's trying to save his teammate. Oh my gosh, dude, that was hilarious. Dude, I have 20 stacks now. You can see how... You you actually deal a lot of damage, and also it's hard. To, okay, so the reason, like, I feel like there's a few things. Firstly, you have good wave clear. You have good 1v1. You're hard to kill, and you bait people. This is the Silas, Silas uh, advantage. You know, so many times have you seen, like, maybe if you watch other YouTubers play Silas or whatever, where they're losing on Silas, then they eat something. Oh, okay, I'm, why am I saying eat? I'm playing too much Nunu. Um, he W something. And then suddenly Silas is full HP again. That's what Nunu does too. Except for that Nunu's is on a, uh, I think it's maybe not a lower cooldown, but it heals for more. Um, so it really hard baits people. That's the thing. Okay, I can't die because I have so many stacks, so. So I'll just get this guy first. I don't know if I how many more I can get here. I'm waiting for all of their crowd control to be gone. So I'll just eat this guy. Well, as soon as their crowd control is gone, then I could ulti, but it looks like it wasn't even necessary. So I just played it slow, waited, okay, if they were to turn on me, then I would ult, but they weren't turning, they were just running away, so then we can just chase them down. Simple as that, and I didn't have to burn any summons because I felt confident that we can just catch them all. They're, they're all pretty weak compared to me, so. I have 25 stack magi now. Oh, we can maybe catch this guy here. Yeah, like, there's not much that he can do. That's the thing. If people are ever caught out, like, inside, like, your jungle a little bit too far, it's so easy to catch up to them because you're so fast. Because of the build path you take, firstly, because the protobelt allows you to get in range of E to slow people down, and then you can just ulti them. Or your W, it just gives you a lot of movement speed, and it's very difficult to run away from it because you cannot slow me. Some champions have grounding effect, like Cassiopeia and whatever, and they th if they throw it down, it, it actually stops your snowballs. So it's kind of hard to kill those guys, although I have beaten a Cassiopeia before. It is possible. Um, and I also have the Medjai's already, so... And then you go Deadman's next. So this is the build path. You go Deadman's, and then you go Gargoyles. And then you're do and then you're done. Those are literally the only build paths you go. I'm not sure what Jarvan's doing here. I'm afraid of just get getting ultied. So that's why I'm not playing super, super aggressive. Because I just don't want to throw my lead. By getting ultied, like, by TF or something. Not ultied, uh, by Yasuo. And then I just, like, get one shot or something. Okay, so I'll just kill that guy first. We'll just flash ulti. I didn't really need to, but whatever. You know, it works. <laughs> did I did I give him enough tanking so he can just... <laughs> we'll just protobolt him. <laughs> I was trying to either, either either I hit him with a snowball and he insta dies, or I just run past him because like there should be nobody else nearby because everybody else is dead, so it's literally the only person. So there was like no way for him to escape. And then uh, looks like t <laughs> he's just trolling. It's Solar Baka, by the way, for anybody who's wondering <laughs> on my team. Okay, so I have my dead man's now. So this is the second build pad. This is gonna make you tankier because you already have enough damage. You don't need any more damage. Then you go gargoyles because it increases the shield that you get from your ulti and it just makes your ulti, I think it deals more damage dude. No, it doesn't deal more damage. It just makes you get a bigger shield. But uh, like you wanna last a long time inside of the middle of team fight so you can actually get a full channel ulti off so you can just like one shot people or make it so it's a game winning uh, turn. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Uh, after gargoyles, you continue going tank that I know of. From that's what this guy builds. But it seems that the games are normally so fast, or he loses fast enough to the point that you can't get another item after that. So it's just protobelt, 
with a Morello, uh, uh, not a Morello, is a uh, Medjai's if you're, um, if you're gonna be fed. And then uh, after that, you can go for the Gargoyles, and then after that, anything else you, you want. But Nunu is definitely actually a strong mid laner. He can do a lot on the map, and he's super influential. Like, I don't, I didn't see, like, how much KP I have compared to everybody else. We can quickly check it. So, Solar Baka has 15. Um, this guy has 15. This guy has 11. This guy has 10. And then I have 18. So, I have more KP than anybody. And that's what you should all be, also be aiming for. When I look at this guy's account, the, uh, the Korean challenger, he's, like, 850 LP Nunu mid player. He also plays Nunu jungle, but he plays a lot of Nunu mid with Dark Harvest. These are the runes that you always take as well. So, you always take these runes, same exact runes. Uh, you always do this build no matter what. And... You just aim to be part of every single fight possible because you should get uh, priority before the opponent. You should be very hard to gank because you can actually bait ganks by just eating minions. You're pretty difficult to kill, actually. You're not easy to kill. And then you can also go for the opponent when they have no flash very easily. You saw how, that's how I got the solo kill, but you can also do that with your jungler. I didn't even have any jungler assistance, and you can see how much pressure I had over the TF. And then you just kind of influence the map and try to be part of the flow of the game. You know, if there's a bot lane fight, I try to be a part of it. If there's a top lane fight, I try to be a part of it, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy it and if you learn anything about how to play this new to mid, be sure to drop a like on the video and I'll see you guys next time.